everyone. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to make a clay render. A clay render is basically, let's say, a white or grey render, and the objects of our scene are untextured. I find clay renders very useful, and I always use them with my clients. Let me explain to you why. You don't want to surprise your client by sending them right away the end result. Once I have all the necessary info and I produce my 3D model, I always send the clay render first so that they can confirm that my 3D model is accurate. So, let's see how we do this clay render. First step is to assign the V-Ray renderer and adjust your rendering settings. If you don't know how to do so, please check my video 3D Studio Max V-Ray Render Setup Tutorial. Next step is to create the color that we will assign to our scene. Open the Slate Material Editor by clicking the letter M on your keyboard or by clicking this icon. Click on the V-Ray Material from the Material Map Browser and drag it in the Active View. Double-click on the name of the material to open its settings. You can rename it, let's say, clay, and then click on the diffuse color and set it to light grey. Now that we created our material, the next step is to assign it to our scene. Go to the menu Rendering, Render Setup. Go to the V-Ray tab and open the Global Switches Rollout. Click Override material to enable it and then drag your clay material to the None slot. Don't forget to select Instance so that any change you will do on your material will automatically apply here as well. Let's hit the Render button to see our clay render. This looks pretty dark and it would be even darker if we didn't have our artificial lighting. Why is that? Because we applied the white material to all our objects. What we need to do is to exclude the glass layer so that we allow the sunlight to come in. Open the Render Setup dialog box. Go to the Global Switches rollout and click on the Exclude button right below our clay material. On the left side, you can see the objects of our scene. Select Glass and click the upper button to move it to the right side to exclude it. All the objects shown in the left side have the clay material assigned, while all the objects in the right side have the finish you have applied to them from the Material Editor. If we now hit the Render button, you can see our updated clay render. I personally like to highlight the geometry of my 3D model just to be sure that my client really reads accurately my 3D render. So what I do is that instead of a plain color, I add an edge map. Open the Slate Material Editor. Click on the V-Ray Edges text from the Material Map Browser and drag it in the Active View next to our clay material. Then, connect it to the Diffuse Map. Double-click on its name to see its settings. Click on the color and select a dark grey color for the color of your edges. If you leave pixel width value to 1, you will get this result. I think this makes it look too bold, kind of destructive for me, and I personally prefer to set my width value to 0.1, where we get this result. So, let me put the two renders side by side so that we can compare them. On the left side, we have applied a plain color and on the right side, we have highlighted the edges of our objects. Once you do all the testing you want with your camera settings and your lighting and you are ready to move on to the next step, which is applying materials, 
Just go back to the global switches rollout and disable the override material option. As I said before, I love clay renders and I hope after watching this video you will also start using them in your workflow. Thank you.